is my perspective. My perspective. Yeah, from my perspective. My perspective. Is my perspective. My perspective. My perspective. Yeah, yo, am I wrong or is it just you? Or did my life show me some things that gave me my view? And if I went through what you went through, would I be you? <laughs> I don't know. That's too many questions with no answer, but plenty chances for many lessons. Am I willing to learn that it's all perception? That the picture that I paint ain't the one that you sketching? So can we disagree without drawing a weapon? Long as I can understand that it's just your perspective. Yeah, it's my perspective. Yeah, from my perspective. Hi, and this is your girl Aset, and welcome to My Perspective Monday Halloween Special. Woo! Hey, wow, we're going to have a great time today. Let's introduce our cast here, okay? My name is Marcus, a.k.a. Evil Ted. I am the Red Queen. I am a Jackson Pollock work of art. And I'm your guardian angel. And I'm the cheerleader. <laughs> All right, today we're going to talk about all kind of Halloween uh, fun things Ooh, and all, not love, so fun things. I'm sorry, but I love Halloween. <laughs> well, I don't love Halloween that much. Well, I do. I thought we were doing Christmas, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Let's talk about why you don't love right. Halloween, though. You dress like that for Christmas. I don't love Halloween <laughs> We're a Santa Claus suit for Halloween, okay. <laughs> I don't love Halloween because I think it's evil. And it represents evilness, and that's why I don't like. You, you need to lighten up. <laughs> really? Yeah, you do. I mean, because get off the tail feathers. Well, shape, yeah, tail feathers because you, you, if you, you take everything too seriously, you don't enjoy life. Ooh. And besides, the roots of Halloween, you could argue they're evil. You could also evil that they're good. It could be either, either all Hallow's Eve or all Saints Eve. Either way. True. Yeah, yeah. Now so, that's true about that. Yeah, so, yeah. But you know what? I just decided. You know, you you do you. You do you, you know, you do your Halloween and I, I do mine, okay? <laughs> but we're going to talk about some fun stuff today. What we're going to talk about today is, when you was a kid, what did you do on Halloween when you was a kid versus what you did when you was a teenager? They're still kids, so what? They, 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 they do it now. I got you. Technically, I'm a grown man. Okay. Um, um, when I was a kid, I mean, I really just go get candy, you know, a lot of candy. Um, I can't really say as a teenager because I stopped trick or treating at like twelve, <laughs> so I didn't. I'm, I can't even say as a teenager. What was what was the worst candy you ever got? Um, I really don't like the little round uh, chocolate ball things. It's like in a tan paper. I don't forgot uh -huh. what they're called. You know, milk Yeah, <gasps> not what? What'd you say? Milk you don't that like one. Whoppers. No. Whoppers. No, that's Whoppers, that's the one. Are nasty. Whoppers. Nasty as fuck. It is kind of. Nasty. Like, you know gross. what? I, Nothing's that nasty. Really. What <laughs> no, about, nasty about you, Abigail? Uh, well, <laughs> as a teenager still, um, I actually had my mom, her work does. Isn't your mom here right now, by the way? She okay, is go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> her work um, has a. has like a. Um, a thing where you can go and to a hospital home, I'm not sure what they're called, mm -hmm. and where like hospital patients go and stay. Mm -hmm. um, and we go there and we actually make a bunch of food and we serve them to people and we get to talk to them and stuff. That's and funny. I think I did that for a couple, like couple years. Okay. okay. Um, which was, I think is really fun. Yeah. And I still got the leftover candy. I didn't get to trick or treat as much, but you know, I still think it was really fun. So your, your, mom did, your mom's doing a better job <laughs> raising you than I did. <laughs> right, you started to bring him right doing that. Though. Marcus, I mean, was... Um, for me, I was the bad kid. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> no. I was the bad kid. I was, no, snatching, I was snatching candy bags, playing Ding Dong Ditch. Oh, <laughs> I was the bad kid. Oh, no. I mean, Halloween was fun for me, though. I did like it, and I used to love scaring the little kids. <laughs> and uh, that was as a kid, but as a teenager, I was too big, so I was too tall, so I used to just take my little kids and my little cousins and stuff and just take their candy. So, so I got a That's rule same. in my house where if, if, if ever <laughs> I'm at home on Halloween and doing trick or treating, if you got facial hair, you don't get any candy for yeah, me. Yeah, see, that yeah. was me, and I, yeah. I had this like since I'm too 14. old. I mean, go, ahead and you, go ahead and get a job by the day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness, come on. Yeah, come on for the love of God. 14 year old, 15 year old kid with facial hair comes Ooh. up and says trick or treat. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so smell my right. face, give right. me some good eat. I don't know, go ahead and, you know, he'll be doing what he's doing. You take the little kids out, you don't go trick or treat yourself. Shit, the little kids there, man. The man, he's got his eyes and a mustache. That's so 
I noticed I'm, I'm smiling when I say it too. Yeah. <laughs> you, want to, you want me to talk now? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Because now everybody trick or treated or whatever. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't do good deeds in my neighborhood like she did. <laughs> Uh, but my favorite thing, though, that might be a tad different, was my dad was a creative sword. And um, at, at churches and schools, churches now, they have Halloween festivals. And he and a friend of his would get together a horror house, and they would have people dressed up as monsters. And my dad was the guy, he was the hunter. He had a whip. Oh, wow. And his sidekick, his friend of his, was the hunchback. And they would reveal these monsters. Eagle. And they'd come out to scare the people, and all, you know, like Frankenstein, Dracula, and all that. And we had this one guy, we had one guy, I grew up in a small town in Georgia. We had one person of Greek ancestry in the whole town who made a perfect Dracula. You really? know, with the hair and all that. So, and he'd get drunk before he did it blah, blah, blah. to make it more authentic. <laughs> so, I said, that was, a, that was a good memory for me. So, he had to get drunk to do it. Right. Yeah. I okay. drink your blood. Okay. I drink your blood. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know what? You drink anything. I, you drink it? I just Woo! remember something. Actually, I, I do like Halloween um, now a lot too because um, I like to go to like the haunted houses like uh, Woods of Terror. Uh, just all those haunted attractions. Yeah. That's the most fun part. Has anybody ever got you at one of those haunted houses like kidnapped like, you? And Oh, Try to murder oh, yourself. Hell no. I'm going for this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? We're going to continue this conversation. We're going to be right back. And we're back. You know what? You know, one of my craziest Halloween stories is that, you know, um, when I was a little girl, you know, there was someone, I lived in the projects, and there was somebody in the projects with, you knock on that door, they're going to throw hot water on you. That's your, that's your trick. I'm going to say trick or treat, <laughs> but that's your trick. Oh, I'm no. saying like, what? You know, he would sit there and wait with the lights out, you know, oh, wait for no. somebody to knock his door so he can throw some hot water. Just downright meanness. Oh, and no. I'm saying like, what in the world? What about you guys? What's some of your crazy Halloween stories? Um, my uncle used to gather all of us together as kids. And I don't know whether he really got somebody to put in like red contacts or green contacts. <laughs> and they used to take us and walk through the graveyard or whatever. And oh, he used to be, have those eyes running towards us. And he's like, look y'all, look y'all. And everybody oh, just talking. Wow. That, <laughs> that would was be, really fun though. I would be so afraid. Yes, I would be so definitely. afraid. What about y'all? Any crazy stories? All of mine involved throwing eggs and stuff. Oh, there's nothing, no. There's nothing I'm good not about that. I mean, Come on I mean, now. I mean, you, threw, you threw eggs. No, I mean, it was, there's a, okay, so what's wrong? There's a statute of limitations and everything. I mean, <laughs> 50 years later, you know, but seven days of 10. I but nothing, you know, nothing oh, The thing about me is that, is that the interesting thing about Halloween is we use it as a time to kind of appeal to our darker nature. You know, we want to be scared. You know, we want to do kind of do bad things. I don't scare know why people. that is, but I do not like to. Be I just scared. want to scare people. Yeah, you do. I, do. You know I like to be scared. I am not a big fan of scary stuff. I had one time when I was little. There was this big like Halloween haunted house that this person in our neighborhood. The whole house would be decked out and like haunt, like just scary. And you'd walk through it. And one time I got every year and it kept getting scary and scary. And I had one time I was with my friend, I couldn't do it. Like oh, they yeah. had the they had a chainsaw out and I ran. Chainsaw? <laughs> yeah, I was good. But there's a little bit of you that wants to be scared though. A little piece of you. No. As long as you as long <laughs> as you know that you, you, there's really nothing to fear. You know that you know there's a there's a line. I mean I'm not you, I mean you wouldn't go into Michael Jackson's no. house. I mean, I don't mean that kind of scary, but I mean <laughs> but I mean just but you know, wow. fake scared. I didn't know Michael Jackson was scary. Oh, that was Oh, but um, so I mean, uh, so no, no boo. That was, <laughs> I do have a uh, story. So when I was when I first actually went to the Woods of Terror, I'm not gonna lie to you, I cried like a little baby. Like I cried so bad because the people were running. And no, I'm so serious. Like they were running up on me, and my mom was like, Henry, just calm down, calm down, calm down. You calm down, they won't come at you. And I just kept saying, You better get away from me right now. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> Like, they kept coming to me, and then this one girl started getting in my face, and I screamed to the top of my lungs like a girl. Like, I don't it was just the worst. It, it was funny. Oh, not only that, me acting like that, not really want to be there, we going through the haunted house, right? Tell me why my mom, my sister, and her, uh, her boyfriend at the time, 
We all fell back into a chair because Dracula popped out of the closet. Oh, no. We all broke the rocking chair. No. Oh my God. Then we <laughs> were going through this little tunnel thing with the clowns and the dots. And then the clown literally scared my mom. And so she trips over the rope and starts rolling down the hill towards the lake. Being scared, not being hurt, though. I mean, that's, that, like, that really is scary. Right? And, I mean, that is very scary. It, it made up for the rest of the night because I really did not want to be there. I was scared as shit. Like, I was, you know oh, what? Yeah. That <laughs> reminds me of the time that my, my daughter, you know, when she got older, I took her to the Hallelujah Festival because what we do at church, we have a Hallelujah Festival, and that's when we, that's like a, uh, uh, an alternate uh, route of going out. Or, or a fall festival sometimes. You know, yeah. fall festival, Hallelujah yeah. Festival, whatever. Yeah. Churches, they have this, and they have like little um, costumes, you know, little contests and stuff. So we gathered up the little candy. They got She got this big bag of candy to show off at school, you know, huh, da, da. I got all this candy. And I said, look, now let's separate the candies. I separate the candy. Is this the good candy? <laughs> this the bad candy? Because she was just a child. Okay? The bad candy is what they really like, okay. by the way. And, 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 and <laughs> lo and behold, the child ate the bad candy and swallowed the, 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 one of the sweet hey, tarts yeah. or whatever it was, and Ugh. she could not breathe and she's hopping around. Oh, I can't breathe! I can't <laughs> breathe! Oh, Next, you know, she went, okay. she went, she went, I think she died or something. Well, yeah, Levitated, I, I, I don't know. That's or whatever, she, she, she just, just, <laughs> she just, she just blew. and I just, I was, oh candy. my God, help me. So I took her like this, and I said, you, uh, I said, I did the Heimlich. But anyway, it's, it's a long story. But thank God she's here today. Oh, that's, uh, that's so why, one of the reasons why I don't care for that's, Halloween. Okay. Well, that's just down right I, So I, I told you got it out of me. I told you. Right. Well. Well, I want to give a big, great, great, uh, great big boo to the people that give healthy candy out for, help for trick or treat. Right. Who wants that shit? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. instead of giving you know chocolate or whatever exactly. or sweet tarts, you give them out you know cups of yogurt or something. Where the Snickers in the uh, bar? You know, I used to have people in my neighborhood. I used to have people in my neighborhood hand out like uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, like, yeah. I appreciate it. You should like, have threw it back. Yeah, they oh, give out money. What a human some people give out money. Candy. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I had some money in my bag. Like, yeah, thanks for the money. Thanks for the socks. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys, who's your guys' uh, favorite killer? Like, you have a favorite Halloween killer? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go first because that is yeah. uh, the movie. I don't. I don't like the hack and slash movies. You don't? No. I mean, I, I, the Jasons and the my, no. I don't like those. But the first thing that popped in my head was the Alfred Hitchcock movie Psycho, mm -hmm. and Norman okay. Bates and Psycho. If you've never seen okay. that, you know, watch Psycho. You like so, yeah. more like realistic. It was just a good movie, and if you if you talk about you know, like being scared, whatever, but yeah. well, it's really not going to hurt you. You watch the movie Psycho with Norman, Anthony Perkins and Norman Bates. But I can't I can't stand that 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 uh, Michael Myers, you know that that creepy don't creepy type. Well, the I don't, see, I don't like mm -hmm. the, all the, the, the body. I just can't stand that. No, like, oh, body fluids like and it. guts and all that. I don't want to see. I'm somebody going to get hurt. You know, I don't like it. It the clown. I don't really like that. You don't no, like I the clown. Really like Come on now, that's the clown. It's just like too much. How can you? Why do you like say that? Like, <laughs> the in the tunnel, look. like sex harassment. <laughs> oh yeah, like I'm gonna eat your eyes. Well, like, what, I can't really. What the person's afraid of being scared here? Who's your favorite killer? I, none of them. I don't like any of them. Right. But, <laughs> right. Any of them. but if you have to pick, like, but it, listen, okay, if you have to pick, who would you pick? Okay. A scary movie. Something. Scary movie. Uh, I was scared by Coraline. Like I didn't okay. like it. That's where the drama started. <laughs> no, it's not. This, what it's is this? Really? Coraline. Oh, it's Tim Burton. No, that's Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what about The Sixth Sense? You ever see that? Or I don't, I don't oh, think that's you've seen it. That's a movie that'll keep you awake at night. That'll have you dreaming. What about like, The Exorcist? You fell asleep on it. Oh. There's, there's, but the. It clown. I am really afraid of clowns, also. So that is no, not my favorite. I'm, that's, I'm good. We're gonna talk about this a little bit more after this break. All right, we're back to talk about Halloween, and I believe the next topic is what Halloween movies. Seth? Yes. All right. So, whose favorite Halloween movies? Whose favorite Halloween TV episodes, what have you? Go at it. Well, I, I will say this. I, 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 you know, I like suspense movies. I am not that crazy about the scary, scary, anything that is suspenseful, <laughs> like, like, like Michael Myers, even though I don't like this, this creature, I mean, he's got it going on. I mean, you can't kill him. <laughs> 
What kind of freak is that? That you can't, he, you know, he's, he's looming around, spooky, creepy, creepy, crawly, always, you know, showing up with a mask, well, looking all he, crazy looking. I mean, the man got it going on. He bad. Well, that's where he's got, he keeps getting okay. money. That's why he keeps coming back. I mean, because he keeps making money. So. But he's, he's, I like the other Mike Myers, the one that does the Wayne's World thing. <laughs> Oh, All right. my favorite horror movie would be The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Have Ooh. you ever seen that? I've never seen that. It, it's like where a um, oh. like that was getting inside this girl's body, I guess, if that's what you would say. Uh -huh. And um, I, I guess that's what it is. Let me go back a little bit. I will, I'm sorry to cut, but the one that you and I have a memory of. We hear okay. the Exorcist of Emily the actual, Rose. Exorcist. The Exorcist. Exorcist. Now, that's when you better have your Bible nearby, though. Yes. That'll take you to a very dark place there. Yes. And when was. that came out in the 70s, it was. It was pretty People creepy. were stretched around the block to watch that movie. Absolutely. Because people like. Except for Abigail here, being scared. Look, I like I like scary movie. I like scary movie where the where the where the uh, the priest vomited back on the demon. Oh, yeah. now oh that my was God, that's, that's, that's the theme right there. I'm saying like no, yes, the real shit. Yes, <laughs> yes, vomit back uh, on the demon. Okay. All right, so yeah. other Halloween movies. What about um, well, or TV shows? I like my. I still like my Disney Channel original <laughs> Halloween. They oh, okay, but what? it's the and best. The it really is. You can't like top it. They're original. They're so good. Like it's the cheesy, scary. You know. It's well, so Charlie, Brown, uh, Charlie so Brown. Charlie uh, Brown. Christmas. Uh, how the Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown. Oh, uh, that's yeah, crazy. Great Snow Halloween. No, the, 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 the Great Pumpkin. Charlie that Brown. That I, that I miss speak. Yeah, the Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown is good. I like the kitty ones. I still think they're like. I said they're like good because they're not scary, but they get that Halloween into Hocus Pocus is a good movie too. So oh yeah, that's definitely a favorite. Absolutely, I got an amen from the sound. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Hocus Pocus. I mean, I, I just, I just, I just love suspense. I mean, just let don't let me know where you, what you're gonna do. Let me let me figure it out before you do it. I, I well, now that way that. you know everything's gonna be all right in the end too. Right. You know, it, it's it's one of those where you know you, you get, it gets suspenseful. It's also funny. But in the end, the bad guys get what's coming to them, or the bad girls in this case, and everybody leaves happy, so. Now, you know what? I got something else that's suspenseful. Do you think that Halloween is gonna to continue to exist the way the world is going right now with all kind of uh, mean people and, you know? Oh, absolutely. You One of the best things about Halloween is it's a chance to watch everybody get offended right. about something. Right, people need an escape. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah. because yeah. They, they get offended at the, at the very yeah. celebration of Halloween, mm -hmm. or they get offended at the costumes people wear because it offends some ethnic group or some political group, what have you. So it's fun to watch all that, too. That's good entertainment. So right. do you think it's going to continue to hang in Yeah, we got we got to explore our so. dark We, we explore our light side at Christmas time. We explore our dark side at Halloween. Mm -hmm. The reason why I ask this question is because, you know, there used to be a day and time we would go out trick or treat, trick or treat, you know, the little kitties, all this, that, and other. Yeah. But you know what? Nowadays, you know, they just take you to, the, you know, like your friends and the family or, you know, they don't really take you house door to door because there's, there's some crazy weirdos out there, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, they're always there. So I'm saying, how long do you think that well, how about the, the people who are, who are a lot younger? Did you go trick or treating when you were a little younger? Well, I hope you still don't go. When I was younger, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I did. definitely went trick or treating. I used to bitch about the cold. You know, I used to hate going out when it's cold. <laughs> but it's not cold in North Carolina, though. Tell no, I, well, at the time I was in like West Virginia. Okay. Like, well, how about did you trick or treat a little younger? I I did. I think I trick or treated from time. Don't look at mom. I think from the time that I could like walk until I probably like 10. Did, did you go to a stranger's house or just people you knew? I went to the whole neighborhood. You got to go to the good good houses that are the rich people. I didn't live you in a good neighborhood. Now that's the key. Big size candy. You got to go to the rich houses <laughs> and get your candy. For you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. The full size candy bars. I'm telling you. Was there that one size. house you ignored though? It was kind of like that place is a little. The hot water. It was always the one that had apples. Like, what are you doing oh, with apples? I'm sorry, guys. Well, if it's a probation officer right in front, you don't have to love Right, right. You get you get Wait, so not to go back on the subject, but I actually meant to say this. Like, um, my actual favorite movie is Michael Myers. He would be my favorite, like, movie person. But the actual movies that would get me scared would be The Insidious and The Paranormal Activities. Like, when I watch this by myself, it's just so... Creepy, it makes me weird. Like I just get scared. Look, I, I was I was well a lot older than you are now when I first saw the movie The Sixth Sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it's hard to say that and not get tongue tied. The Sixth Sense, <laughs> but I for those who haven't seen it, it's about people who are dead and don't know it. Because I had a dream that night 
that I was dead and didn't know it. This is creepy. <laughs> oh, oh, this is I, right. That movie was a little bit too intense. Yeah, the Mark Wayne, yeah. yeah, but he was cephalological. No, we we like doing just that though. We, we that's just that's just a part of who we are. We I have know. we can't can't disregard it. I mean, right. so. You know, she had the angel thing once in a while, put on a devil costume. <laughs> Your hey, I do. I do that for my husband. <laughs> do, do they, right up there, by the way, do, do they ban certain costumes at your church thing? Like you can't dress up as a... Uh, you gotta dress up as your favorite disciple or something. You can go well, you know, I, look, I tell you what, I dress my look. I dress my son in a Roman costume, and I'm telling you, he won the contest because the boy was banging. I mean, he Bang. had the stilts, he had the sword, he had everything. So it was a bang. You can't dress up as so Michael Myers guy or something like that. No. Oh no. Whether you don't. <laughs> She's lying because her halo keeps falling. Off. I never. <laughs> so, I well, you know, well, I you know, what can I say? You're one of the fallen angels. You fallen. Aww. <laughs> They're gender neutral. <laughs> but I'm not a female body. <laughs> No. Hey, I'm falling in love with you. Ooh, okay, I got lots of love. We got about one minute to do that. She's holding his finger up there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. We'll be right back. You know what? We've really got some great costumes out here today. You know what? Why don't we just discuss about our costumes and talk about it and give some final thoughts, okay? All right, well, my costume, I chose Evil Ted. And the reason why I chose Evil Ted because he liked to smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> but uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, I really chose that. And I brought the Gryffindor head along with me, you know, so he helped me make some decisions, you know, on everything. Oh, so. man. I thought that was Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Generation. Um, what about you? Um, the Red Queen doesn't smoke weed. The Red Queen does not smoke weed. The Red. Let me be the judge. <laughs> Do drugs. The Red Queen. queen. Oh, I chose it. I just wanted to. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling Queen. I want to be glammed up. Okay. Just. It just felt. It just felt right today. I don't know. Yeah, you look right. stunning. You look Thank outstanding. you. It's giving me very much queen vibes. <laughs> <laughs> queen teams. Mm -hmm. Me? Okay. Go for uh, it. Jackson Pollock, a uh, uh, artist from, I guess, Abstract, I'm not sure what you call him. American, so I had this shirt, and so I told our fine makeup artist, I said, look, I'm gonna wear this shirt. I sent her a picture of it. So just make up my face however you see fit. And so she did, I had no idea what she was doing until I looked in the mirror. That's a little cheap stickers for the hat. And she did this number on the shoulders here. So that's the thing that, you know, great projects are made of. What is, okay. it, what is it saying to you? Dennis? I don't know. It's not saying Free anything. Paint. It's just saying. Well, it's saying a lot to me <laughs> because <laughs> I'm an artist. And I, I can't help but keep looking well, at this, all this beautiful paint. Well, I, yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know much about art. I'm not an expert, but I do kind of like art. And I like colors. Uh, and so my, my favorite, art, favorite artist is not Jackson Pollock. It's really a... Paul Gauguin and Vincent Van Gogh because they were great with vibrant, bright colors. So, yes, and it Absolutely. just seemed to fit. So, well, I think it what about you? Um, well, why not you? Let's talk about you okay, first. Well, I tell you, you know what? I picked this beautiful angel outfit because I like to. I like to. I represent good. Even in my own life, I love to encourage people and to let them know oh. that they can they can they can go on they can make it and so i you know put the little angel i'm your guardian angel okay? and you should yeah she's true yeah. you, you should follow her on instagram because she's very nice very inspirational very uplifting just like me always smiling always optimistic mm -hmm. no, but in her case it's for real though so yeah <laughs> all right yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to help you out <laughs> like well he's queen oh, let me, uh, who's the queen <laughs> me oh, well, well pretty Mercury. I guess I would be a queen when I'm queens, but I'm actually a cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm a cheerleader because honestly, in my friends and my family's life, I am a cheerleader. I'm always the vibrant person. I'm the, always the one who does the, mo does the most <laughs> and always just so ecstatic. So why not be a cheerleader <laughs> Why <laughs> cheer hoes? You know, this is great. <laughs> it's, it's good that we can, we can um, just you know, go into role play and to do some things a little bit different than what we normally are accustomed to doing. You know what? You know, some. You know, it's interesting because sometimes in the in the bathroom, I go in the bathroom and I pretend to be the evil the evil oval lady on on oval. I begin, you know, I be 
serious, you know, be like I'm, <laughs> like I'm, like I'm, like I'm mean and hateful, you know. Isn't that interesting? It's something about what you said, how, you know, sometimes, you know, of course there is, there's an evil and a good side in everybody, really, they really is. And so sometimes, you know, when you are a good person, or you consider yourself a good person, sometimes, you know, you say, now, I wonder what would happen if I be the evil the evil villain or something, you know, what would happen? So one of my one of my favorite uh, TV shows from the '60s, and you're all you don't you don't remember it. So you are Star Star Trek. And there was one episode where Captain Kirk gets split in two personalities, two oh, different bodies. I remember. He has his good side mm-hmm. and his bad side. Jesus. And he realizes as he goes along mm-hmm. that both sides need each other. Right. So it's it's just part of who we are. Right. Just so in and, and, and Henry Kissinger is one that said that uh, former Secretary of State mm-hmm. accept everything there is about yourself. I mean everything, mm-hmm. and that includes what some people may perceive as bad, but those bad points very often are also your strengths too. Mm-hmm. So interesting. That's what makes you you. That's interesting. It's all a part of you. I'm an interesting guy. You know, all a part of you. It's multifaceted, different perspectives. You know, even in art, you know. Even in art, I got you thinking about art now. Okay, there's <laughs> different perspectives of a person. You know, different perspectives. You know, because um, you know, different. You know, there's the mother of you, or if you're a mother, there's a there's a mother, there's a sister, there's a coworker, whatever. There's a girlfriend, whatever. So there's different perspectives that would make up you. You know, in order to get a better idea all about this person, how this, what this person's all about, you gotta look at the different perspectives of the person. So, you know, like you say, there is some little evil stuff in there some way. You know, somewhere in there, there's evil. Even though we haven't, I we haven't found s- hers yet, we're still looking for hers. Evil by the down. way, there's no evil you know, inside um, me. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> that true? Come on, girl. <laughs> Anybody made a man? What I, in the world? Oh, right. come on, up I mean, in here. Yeah. There's I think, just no room yeah. for evil. You just, That's because your yeah, parents didn't use corporal punishment. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Set them a timeout chair and all that. No, no, no I think. No, nope. so they spanked that. Abby spanked it brings very much. Good girl. Well, I mean, I think that everyone does have that evil, but you you choose. I really do think you choose. choose. Like you can be that uplifting, positive person. You can. That's right. You you have to just choose to be that person, even if you don't want to be. You're not always gonna have good days, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, it's gonna be. Not yet. Age her for far too long. Lizzie Borden one day, you know. Oh, Lizzie. Oh, God, Lizzie. Mama oh. take an axe to Mama 40 likes. No that's, that's scary stuff there. That, I, I don't think I'm that I Read your history book. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Evil Ted. What's my evil side? That mask. Who? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they have very- <laughs> You've done nothing wrong in the past year. No. Nothing bad. Um, I think it's not really. at all. Your tour. Except for switch a little tag at Walmart or two. Okay, there you go. Other than that, you know. Other than that, you know. Uh, folks I'm at Walmart are watching boy. this all. <laughs> I'm a pretty good boy, you know. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Have your parents ever got to you for doing, letting some of that evil slip out? Oh, yeah. I'm skinny dipping and doing a lot of things I ain't supposed to have been doing in that part. <laughs> you know? Well, but, yeah, I've definitely got my butt whipped for doing a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Kicking doors, squirting people with water guns in the hot Wow. Water. Old people, I used to squirt them with water guns. Yeah, wow. I used to get my butt whipped for doing crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking I remember. Like, <laughs> Terrorizing old people. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We can say all kinds of things. You know what? It's good to it's good that we can um, see the flip side of some things. You know what I'm saying? Get different perspectives of of life and of some things. Even Halloween, you know. So I've really learned a lot. You know what? But it's so important that we continue to be safe during Halloween. For sure, you got to be safe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Enjoy Halloween. Okay. Bye. It's nice to see you guys. <laughs> Holla at y'all. <laughs> um, so if you guys enjoy Halloween, you know, just go have fun, really. And watch your favorite scary movies, have fun, uh, go be no. with your friends. Go to church. Leave it up. <laughs> Read a scary book. Read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Or you don't have to do anything scary. Just do some festive stuff. It doesn't have to be scary, guys. Uh, Not everything has to be scary. The right. it's, it's, more, it's more fun there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go take some pictures. That's right. All right. People do that all the time anyway. <laughs> With no answer but plenty chances for many lessons. Yep. Am I willing to learn that it's all perception? Yep. That the picture that I paint.